Hey, little Billy. I said, hey, little Billy. Drop that Minecraft sword. We're gonna talk about some cool stuff. Yeah, streamer bot's really cool. But have you ever thought about actually using it with other software? So it's not just your one thing. Here's a question for you. Do you use a Stream Deck or Touch Portal to control just things on your OBS? Maybe just something basic, switching scenes, something like that. First step is, if you're using Stream Deck, that's good for you. Enjoy that for your switching scenes. If you're using Touch Portal, however, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can integrate it with your streamer bot. And then you can just have actual buttons on a phone or tablet where you can initiate different actions. Or you can even set this up with other things that Touch Portal supports. We'll make it all happen. Let's jump straight into it. So look, obviously there's gonna be a few things you're gonna need. You're gonna, of course, need streamer bot. You're gonna, of course, need touch portal. And then you're also going to need one plugin for touch portal to enable streamer bot. You can go ahead and add any other plugins for a touch portal that you might like to be able to continue this integration. For this example, I'm literally just going to set up something so that I can just press a button on my tablet and it's gonna initiate a specific action. However, the sky is the limit for this. Take a look at what plugins are available for touch portal and think to you yourself how can we make this something fun for stream so obviously first things first head over to streamer.bot and download the latest version after that then head over to touch-portal.com and download touch portal it is completely free however there is a paid option please know that you do need the paid version for touch portal for this to work i think it is as a 14 dollars investment into you and your stream just take it out of your twitch payout that month or however it is that you do i promise it's changed my life, it's worth it. Open up StreamerBot, make sure you have everything, you know, set up how you'd like to do it. I have loads of videos that you can find over somewhere. But to specifically connect us up at Touch Portal, we wanna head into the server clients, head over to the WebSocket server, tick the auto start button, and we're gonna start the server. Obviously next time we have Touch Portal. And I have a, a quite simple setup to be honest, I don't stream very often. I just have one scene here for my gaming, one scene here for like a just chatting. I have just a button to be able to punch myself in the face. This button just turns on and off the display capture. This zoom button here basically just controls this OBS script that I have. And then toggle cam just turns off, turn on and off my cam. This is literally maybe 1% of what Touch Portal can actually do. Let's go ahead and install the plugin for StreamerBot. What I want to do is click on this little gear cog and go into settings. From here then, scroll down to plugins and you should be able to see this. You're going to want to import a plugin and take the StreamerBot plugin that's linked in the description down below. Once you do that, you might get a pop-up saying that you need to download a specific version of Java. Make sure you go ahead and download that and restart Touch Portal and come back here. When you click into the plugins after restarting, it's just going to be completely blank. Just click on that drop down and open back up the Touch Portal here. You want to make sure you press start on this and ensure that the address port and endpoint are the exact same as how you had it in your streamer bot. That's literally it. You're all connected. And to prove it, you should be able to see the actions be able to be pulled. So let's say if we go into the punch one here, it's actually doing a streamer bot action called boom pow wham, which is this one right here, which toggles the punching animation on and off. I can even show you. So this right here is my crappy fire tablet that I installed the play store on. If I press this punch button right here, Boom. This opens up your streaming to just a whole lot more that you can actually trigger things yourself. And I know that you can do this on a stream deck. I'm gonna show you where Touch Portal gets a little bit more interesting. Head back over to the Touch Portal website and go into plugins. From here then we can see everything that can be controlled with uh, Touch Portal. Something that might interest a lot of you guys is Trovo, which is another streaming platform. With that then I can go into things called events. So you can even set this up to do your Twitch. It doesn't support YouTube, which is Big pain uh, with with Touch Portal right now, but however, let's say you're a Trovo streamer, you're a Twitch streamer, and you want to set up different events. Absolutely no problem at all. Press the plus here, and we're going to add an event. I had done a whole video on the Trovo integration before in the past. I'll leave that link down below if you're specifically here for Trovo. But let's just say you want anything interesting to happen at any different type of event. Touch Portal just has a lot of them. If you're not sure, just click the drop down for the event and you can see everything here. You can even make things happen when other things happen with this. Here, for example, you can see OBS on scene filter visibility change. That basically means that if that visibility changes, something else happens. So you could have something trigger inside of your streamer bot and makes a filter change. Then your Touch Portal can be 
fucking mega brain and be like that filter changed now we do all this other stuff too link it all back and make it just go nuts absolutely endless the amazing things that you can do with this and your creativity is the only thing holding you back now before i get emotional and cry go check out touch portal the link is down below as always i have been tomo irl go download ytcr and start streaming on youtube already boggers bye